everybody welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Debbie this is my crafty Dan and I have a thrift haul for you so thrifting's been pretty good for me lately um I don't even know where to start with this one there's a few different things and then I've got one bag from I got a few things from Value Village and then I've got a bag full of stuff from Value Village that I kind of want to break down so I think I'm going to do that in a separate haul anyway I'm going to show you the larger items and then I'll do a second video for the smaller stuff so that I can break it down so let's start with the Habitat for Humanity Restore the one in Fredericton isn't very big. It doesn't usually have many small items, but I always like to stop in when I'm near there because I have found a few little treasures there, especially in the hard items, the glassware and stuff like that. I've, I've picked up just a couple of things there that were really cute, and I found these. They were in two different spots, too. Um, let me take them out of the bag so you don't have to listen to the rattling. So I have Christmas on my mind already. Yeah. Um, and when I saw these items, I saw the plate first. So I saw this plate and it was $2.50. And on the back it just says for decorative purposes only made in japan so it's nothing highly collectible i don't think so i've been into a lot of blues and yellows lately in my decor in my kitchen area and i've been loving the whole blue and yellow that french country farmhouse vibe that it gives and i found this is that not pretty it is so, so pretty. And I was thinking on my coffee bar at Christmas time, just for a little extra something. And I picked it up and I walked around with it and I went through all the glassware and I had it in my hand. And then I sat it back down again. So I put the play bag down and thought, well, there were, because there were some people standing there my first loop around, and I had bypassed a couple of little sections, I decided to go back. And in one of those sections, I found these. So these two. So this is one side, this is the other. And they were the same color blue. And I thought, I wonder. So I got looking at them a little bit closer. And this one says, okay, it's got a print, just a little bit of a print around here that you can hardly read, but it says the old homestead in winter on there. And the other cup says the farmer's home in winter. So I got looking at them a little bit closer and they are a different print on each one. But they're matching cups. They've got the gold rims on them. So I went back and I looked at the plate. And the plate says the homestead in winter. Not the old homestead, but just the homestead. So, And it's a third print, but in the exact same, very, very faintly on the front of the plate here, it says Courier and Ives. So... I kind of now know where they come from, but these are going to be awesome on my tiered tray and my coffee bar, that whole area at Christmas. And I'm really looking forward to using them then. So I got these and that was all that I picked up from the restore. So moving on to the Salvation Army, I picked up these little prints for $1.99 each. Nothing special. I mean, they're bathroom sinks. Um, they're literally pedestal sinks for a bathroom. Uh, not what I want to use them for. So I picked them up because they have this really pretty trim on the frame. So these will be a do-over. And I will upcycle these into something else. But I was happy that I got the two to match for $1.99. I was kind of looking for frames. 
So I found two more frames. These are the frameworks, four by six inch, holds multiple prints. Still in the package from Dollarama, uh, $3 Dollarama price for 99 cents. So there were two of them and neither one of them is opened. So it's always nice when you can even get your Dollarama supplies at the thrift store for a little bit cheaper. And then picked up another Dollarama item there that was a $4 item for 99 cents. And it's just this flower pot. So the porcelain flower pot, this is a five and a half inch pot six and a half inches high for 99 cents I mean, anytime you can save three bucks right and i picked up one more item there and there were a pair of these and they were a dollar 99 for the pair i checked them over really well to make sure there were no chips and they are salt and pepper shakers but guys Look at how cute these are. <laughs> I have a thing for salt and pepper shakers, especially if they fit into any of my themes. And I do a coastal theme on my coffee bar in the summer. Little lighthouses, I have little beach signs, a couple starfish, that type of thing. And look, these are gonna look so cute in with that decor. So I got those. So I think that's it from the Salvation Army thrift store. A few Dollarama frames, a flower pot, and those little birds. From Value Village, like I said, I've got Christmas on my mind. I looked at this. First, I thought it was like that resin, but I did a better look. I went like this, and this whole thing is tin. And I'm a sucker for the tin ornaments for some reason. It's got a little, it's dented in a little wee bit here at the back. But I mean, you can hardly tell. You have to look really close to notice. But look at how cute he is. So anytime I can grab another snowman, this one was $5. But I would not have gotten him if he was plastic. But because he's tin, now he's with me. And the only other thing that I got at Value Village that was a little bit on the larger size and it's a single item is this book uh, box. It's a book box, but it's not a Dollarama one. This one is heavier, like it's, it's heavy. So it's probably come from someplace like HomeSense. It is, it was $3.99 and yeah, so, and it is lined with fabric and, in, you know, instead of just uh, paper. And it's more of a press board than just the cardboard. Really, really sturdy. But I think I'm going to paint this. So that'll be a flip. So that's it for this part of the haul. You can watch part two. It'll take me a few days maybe to get it all filmed, but I probably will put it on next Sunday. So yes, watch for that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that now if you want to come back and see that haul. And I will see everybody in the next video. Until then, bye-bye everyone.